in this lecture we are going to discuss about voltage control techniques of inverters we already know the concept of inverters in previous lectures that is inverter is a circuit which converts dc input voltage to ac output voltage now this ac output voltage is going to control by using different techniques those techniques are called voltage control techniques now we are going to discuss about different types of techniques for controlling the ac output voltage of inverters the output voltage of a inverter can be controlled by using two types of techniques in that first one is a external control techniques second one is internal control techniques coming to external control techniques the techniques in which the output voltage of inverters can be controlled by using some external components those are nothing but external control techniques coming to internal internal control techniques are entirely opposite of external control techniques that is the techniques in which the output voltage of inverters can be controlled without using any external components those are nothing but internal control techniques now we are going to discuss about what are the types of external control techniques and what are the types of internal control techniques and how we are going to control the output voltage of inverters by using these techniques that is coming to external control techniques the techniques in which the output voltage of inverter can be controlled by using some external components those are nothing but external control techniques external control techniques are classified into two types in that first one is the external control of ac output voltage and second one is the external control of dc input voltage now we are going to discuss about how output voltage is going to control by using these two methods coming to first method that is external control of ac output voltage the concept of this method is very simple in this dc input voltage is applied to the inverter here inverter converts this dc input voltage to ac output voltage here the output of inverter is uncontrolled in order to get the controlled ac output voltage this uncontrolled ac output voltage is applied to the ac voltage regulator here ac voltage regulator consisting of scrs so by controlling the firing angles of scrs which are present in the ac voltage regulator we are going to get the controlled ac output voltage that is the first method for controlling the output voltage of inverter coming to second method that is external control of dc input voltage this method is applicable if the input is ac here input is ac but inverter requires dc as the input so we have to convert this ac to the dc here we are going to convert this ac to dc by using some external components here external components are full wave rectifier and filter by using these two we are going to convert ac to dc and that obtained dc is going to apply to the inverter as a input then we are going to get the control ac output voltage that is in this first we are going to apply the ac input voltage to the full wave rectifier full wave rectifier is a circuit which converts ac input to the dc output here the output of full wave rectifier having harmonics in order to get the pure dc we are going to apply this output of a full wave rectifier is to the filter here the filter is a circuit which removes the harmonics here the output of a filter circuit is going to apply to the inverter as a input then we are going to get the control output voltage those two are the methods for controlling the output voltage of inverters by using some external components now we are going to discuss about internal control techniques that is the techniques in which the output voltage of inverters can be controlled without using any external components those are nothing but internal control techniques here internal control techniques also classified into two types that is series voltage control technique and second one is the pulse width modulation technique or pwm technique these two methods are 
very important for controlling the output voltage of inverters. Coming to first method that is series voltage control technique. In this technique two or more inverters are connected in series and these inverters going to supplied by the DC input voltage and the output of these inverters are connected to the primary winding of transformer and the secondary winding of this transformer is again connected in series and the output voltage is the phasor sum of secondary winding voltages by controlling the phasor difference of secondary winding voltages we can get the controlled output voltage this is the circuit diagram related to internal voltage control technique these are the two inverters which are connected in series and these two inverters are supplied by dc input voltage and the output of these inverters inverter 1 and inverter 2 are connected to the primary winding of transformer again here secondary winding of transformer is connected in series here v0 is the output voltage and v1 and v2 are the secondary winding voltages by controlling the phasor difference between these two voltages we are going to get the control output voltage here v1 and v2 are the secondary winding voltages and v0 is the output voltage and this one this is the alpha that is the phasor difference between secondary winding voltages v1 and v2 the phasor sum of secondary winding voltages v1 and v2 is the control output voltage v0 that is given as v0 is equal to v1 square plus v2 square plus 2v1 v2 into cos alpha whole power 1 by 2 by controlling the phasor difference between secondary winding voltages v1 and v2 that is nothing but by controlling this alpha we are going to get, get the controlled ac output voltage v0 in that consider first case that is consider phasor difference between v1 and v2 is equal to 0 and the magnitudes of v1 and v2 are same and that is equal to v then we are going to get the output voltage v0 is equal to 2v that is v square v square cos alpha cos 0 is nothing but 1 so we are getting v square plus v square plus 2 v square then resultant is 4 v square from that that is a 2 v so if alpha is equal to 0 and v1 is equal to v2 is equal to v we are going to get the output voltage is 2 v similarly consider the phasor difference between secondary winding voltages is 180 and the magnitudes are equal that is equal to v then we are going to get the output voltage is 0 that is cos 180 is minus 1 so we are getting this one v square plus v square minus 2 v square so these things these things cancel then we are going to get 0 in the in this way by controlling the phasor difference between secondary winding voltages we are going to get the control output voltage v naught this is about the controlling the output voltage of inverter by using different techniques that is external control techniques and internal control techniques in the coming tutorial we are going to discuss about pwm technique that is one of the internal voltage control technique of inverter thank you